everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome I'm Katie and today I have a fun video for you it's part unboxing and I also have five hacks for you guys to share so this is gonna be a lot of fun I'm really excited to do it I'm gonna be sharing the new happy planner well new to me because I've never used them but the new the happy planner paper punch and the happy planner sticker storage book I have five hacks for this storage book that I'm really excited to share with you. So if you want to see what kind of hacks you can do with this, stay tuned. I'm going to open up the whole punch first because that way it can just be out. I didn't open this in advance. I was too excited, so I made the video first before I opened it. But here's what it looks like. It is very heavy duty. I can already tell, so it is worth the price. I got this when they had a sale going on, and I used a coupon on it. And I will leave a link in the description for anything I use today. And of course, I did not bring scissors. Oh, that's okay. Slides right off. But this is heavy duty. It is heavy. It feels like it's at least, probably at least two to three pounds, if not more. So it is very heavy duty and very easy to press down. I just noticed. So that's good. And let's take a look at the sticker storage book. I'm very excited. I've been wanting one of these for a while. I saw a couple flip throughs on YouTube and I thought, oh yes, I need it. Also thought I took off all the tape, but apparently I didn't. <laughs> took off two sides, I did not take off the rest, but that's okay. There we go. So when I ordered this, I ordered um, via curbside pickup at Joann's. And I did not realize it was this big. I honestly thought it was smaller. Look how big these rings are. If you're new to Happy Planner, these are like triple the size of regular Happy Planner notebooks. Like these are huge discs. I was expecting like the small ones that normally come, but these are huge. You, you can fit so many stickers in this book, it's ridiculous. I'm going to show you what it comes with. It's got the hard cover, but what I like about these is that they're interchangeable. So if you don't like your cover and you have one from an old Happy Planner, or if you want to make your own, it just it just pops right out. Look how cool that is. It just pops right out. You can pop it back in really quick and really easy. I love that. So let's see what that goes inside. We're going to look inside really quick and show you what's in here. I'm going to zoom in a little. But right in the front, they have little sticky note stickers that you can put specifically for... Let me see if I can get, this, get rid of the shy in there. That's better. But these stickers are for your dividers. So you can put exactly what stickers, what sticker book you got, you got it from. Like that. The first, there it comes with one, two, three, four, five dividers, I think. Yeah, five dividers. First one says she's a dreamer. It's got this beautiful rainbow foil on it. I love it. The next one is just polka dots. Polka dots are so much fun. And there's a cool hack for this too I might share with in another video that you can do it to snazz it up even more. And then this one says there is always something to be thankful for, which is great because this is a Bible journaling channel and I love that it has something that we really should be thankful every day, even if even it's for the little things. And then this one is really pretty rainbow foil. And it kind of cuts out the sentence, but it says something like, girls shine, happy girls shine the brightest. I think that's what it says on there. And then it shows it back here on the other side, kind of in just a rainbow um, colors. It's not foiled. And then this one says, this life is a beauty full life, which it is. It is a full life. I really like that. And then back here in the back is all your sticker sheets that you can use. Now, it only comes with 12. So I want to show you a couple hacks to add even more stickers in here. Because I don't know if Happy Planner sells um, these separately. So I will show you a couple different hacks. But first off, I want to show you what you can add into a sticker book. This is going to be really cool. I'm just going to take a couple of these. And these pop right out. That's why I love them so much. And what I saw on YouTube was that these are double-sided, which is great. They're not sticky right now. They actually have a perforated edge that you peel off on the corner, and that's where the sticky stuff is that you're going to add your stickers. 
So I have my very large, ugh, extremely large box <laughs> of items that include all my stickers, all my stamps and everything. It's ginormous and it's getting overfilled. That's why I bought the sticker book. <laughs> Because I just have way too much. Well, not way too much. That's really all I have. I don't, I'm not overstocked or anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple different things. I'm going to use my face sticker book. And I'm also going to be using, let's see, I'm going to be using sticky notes. And then I'm also going to be using other stickers that I purchased from the dollar store. These are just dollar store stickers. And then the last thing I'm going to grab in here is stamps, because I have a couple of different hacks that you can do. That's not stamps. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Okay. And now I'm going to use my illustrated face uh, stamp. So I'm going to show you a couple different things you can actually put in here. It is made for the Happy Planner sticker books, which are cool. So I want to see if there is like a full sticker sheet here. I'll put one of these in. Because I have used a lot of stickers in here. I'm just going to quickly find two sheets that are full. Let's see. Okay, I like this one. Okay. And we'll use this one really quick. Actually, I like keeping foil stickers with foil stickers just because that's the way I like to do it. So we'll find another one that's similar to the one we just grabbed. Watch me not be able to find anything. Okay, this one. Okay. There's always. That's what I like about sticker books is that it's a little bit easier to find what you're looking for, especially if you put likes with likes. That one would have been good, but I used too many stickers. Okay. Yep, we're going to use the Bible study ones and the meeting ones because those kind of go together. We'll just use those. So that way they can stick together. Nice and easily. So what you want to do is you want to take one of these, make sure there's only one here, which I think there is only one, and you're going to peel off one side of the adhesive, and it's sticky right here. Then it's really easy, you're just going to line it up, make sure that none of the sticky stuff is out. I'm going to tilt it this way so it's a little easier for me. And then stick it on. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I like to be as close as I can. There we go. And then you just put it down. And there it is. It's right on there. It's not going to come off. It's all sticky down there and everything. Look how great that is. And then you can flip it over. And you can take off the next adhesive. And then you can place the other one right on the other side. I also want to make sure that I, okay, that we're facing the right side up. Because otherwise that would have been really funny. Oops. I also like to line it up as best as I can. There we go. Perfect. Or as close to perfect as we can get. And then you can go back in here, and I'm just going to put it in the first slot just to show you how it goes back in. Once you're done, it just pops right in. Really quick and really easy. Look how fast that is. You just pop it in there and it stays there. And you can flip through them. That's how quick and easy it is. I love this. And now I'm going to show you other things that you can put in. You don't just have to do um, stickers. So I'm going to put this in another section really quick. But you can put other stickers in. They don't have to be Happy Planners stickers. They can be just regular dollar store stickers. I'm wondering if these might be too short. But I'll show you how you can do that. We'll do these. Okay, we'll do these first. These are just some really cute sticky notes that I got off of AliExpress a while ago. If I can figure out how to open them. There we go. Okay. These cute little kitty sticky notes. I love them. So let's see. So we'll do the calico. And we, you can measure to see how many. I think you could probably fit two on 
Yeah, you could fit exactly two on here. That's great. So I'm going to take them out of the package. And I'm going to do four sticky notes. One, two on one side and two on the other. I only have, actually I do have um, other sticky notes, but these are going to work best because they're on like a very long cardstock thing. So I'm going to take this, take off the stickiness, and I'm just going to place these as close to the edge as I can. Make sure none of the stickiness is going to show up. Right there. And stick it down. And then I'm going to take my other one. And if you have a little extra stickiness, what you can do is you can put washi tape un under it, which is fine, or in between. I'm just going to do it next to each other. Like that. There we go. And there's a little bit of extra stickiness at the bottom, but as I said, you can put washi tape or something underneath it. I actually have my washi tape here. I'm just going to quick grab some washi tape to show you guys if you have that extra room on there. You can just take a little piece of washi tape, just as long as it's going to fit there. Yeah, that's perfect. I have this cute little arrow washi tape. And I'm just going to take a little piece of washi tape. I'm glad I have nails now. And I can just run it along the bottom. Just to give it a little decor and also to cover up the stickiness. Perfect. And then I can rip off or use scissors. I don't have scissors right now, but I can just do that. And there you go. And now you don't have any more stickiness on the bottom. And I'm gonna put two more on the other side. I'm gonna use the use the white kitty and the gray kitty. Those are cute. Okay. So now I have a place that I can put all my sticky notes and everything in one place, which is really awesome. And then I'm gonna take off the other side of the adhesive, make sure they're facing the same way, and then I'm going to stick the little kitties on. And stick it on. And then stick on the last one. And I'm going to use the same washi tape since it's right here. And I'm just going to roll it across to cover up the stickiness. And then just take it off. Doesn't that to be perfect? There we go. And then you can go back in and make sure it's stuck down really nicely on both sides. You can stick it down even more, press it on both sides to make sure it's sticking there. And then you can place them in. It. And then you have your sticky notes right where you need them. Look at that. And then they're in here and you can flip back and forth and you have your sticky notes. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is See, my stamps. I'm going to see how big this is. Okay, I can actually use a bigger one. Again, you can put the smaller ones on and just have washi tape, and I'm going to grab a bigger one. Let's see. The same size. I have so many stamps. Okay, this one I think will work. Yeah, that one will work. And it's okay if it sticks up because you know where your stamps are. And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to keep it in the bag, but I'm going to flip it differently. I'm going to flip it upside down, actually. Because we're going to place it in like this. So the little flap opens up like this. So put your stamps facing up that way. The hardest thing to do is put stamps back where they're supposed to go. Remember the way you can you can actually turn this over just so the stickiness is away from it. So I can just slide right back in. 
But what you can do is, I like to leave them in the cellophane wrap just to make sure they're gonna be um, easy to use. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put this, I'm gonna take off one adhesive side. And I'm gonna stick my stamps on. Oops, as we get fuzzies right on the adhesive sticker. Okay, so then you're going to lay it on the sticky net, make sure it's there, and then I'm going to put another stamp set on the other side. Let's see, I'll do this one. This one should be easier to take off <laughs> since I remembered to fold it over before you put it back in. That way it's a little easier to. I'm just going to flip it over so the flap is at the top now instead of the bottom. This is a little easier to go in and out. There we go. And then you're just going to take your other side. Oh, I already did. I forgot I did. And then you just want to stick it down on the other side. And there you go. So you have two stamps on the adhesive and then you can slide it into your next spot. Look how freaking easy that is. And then you have your stamps on both sides and you can just rotate back and forth. Look how awesome that is. Isn't that awesome? All right. Now, I'm going to show you two quick ways how if you run out of these adhesive stamps, you'll be able to make your own. That's why I bought the hole punch. But you don't need the whole punch. There are two other ways you can do it. So the first way I'm going to do it without the whole punch is if you have a old happy planner. That's just something dropping. <laughs> but if you have an old happy planner, this is actually my new one. Um, this is my faith planner, which I, I will be doing weekly plan with me videos coming up next week. So I'm super excited for that. But I have these extra sheets in the back. Let me see if I can find them. That, okay, so these extra little half sheets or regular, um, any any non-used sheets that you have from previous years, just take those out, like so, and totally forgot to grab my double-sided tape. <laughs> my half sheets, which are like this, which Happy Planner does sell these, but you can... Also use old Happy Planner sheets and just cut them down to size. I don't think this one needs cutting down. I'm gonna double check really quick to see how it fits in here. Nope, it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly in there. So I don't think it needs cutting down or anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use double-sided tape. You can also use a glue stick or a hot glue gun. My, our, my hot glue gun stinks, so I'm not gonna use it. I'm just going to put some double-sided tape on that side, some double-sided tape on the other side, and I might be out. Nope, we still got some. I use this stuff so much. And then you can put some on the top and the bottom if you want to. I'm just going to to give it that extra security. Yep, I think I might be done, which is okay because I do have an extra thing and that should be enough to show you guys. So I'm going to put in some more sticky notes or some more of the stickers from the Happy Planner collection. And it looks like it's a little bit bigger, but that is okay. Because what you can do is you can line it up and then if you want to, you can cut the edges off that are over and you can use that with a cutting board which I do have with me so I'll just show you really quick how you can do that I'm a righty cutter I remember that even though I'm a lefty I am a righty cutter and what you can do is you can just line it up and make sure you don't cut off anything you need and just go across and cut off the excess 
That's how quick and easy it is. Make sure to line it up and cut. And that's how fast and easy that was. So if, if you don't have a hole punch, but you have old Happy Planner stuff, you can still use it. And I'll do the other side another time. But then you're gonna go in and you want to, let's see, I wanna put it in a different section. No, I'll still put it in the same section because it is my, there we go. And as I noticed, I did put the page upside down, but once you put another sheet of stickers, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna show you is using cardstock, which is really super fun, using cardstock and using the hole punch. So if you just wanna have one happy planner, totally fine. You can just use cardstock and you, get, you can get the hole punch. So this doesn't have to be exact to size, it just has to, um, the size of this so I'm just going to measure this really quick looks like it's about nine and a half inches tall so I'm just going to do that because this is definitely too big so we're just going to go to about nine and a half and we're going to cut off that piece and then I'm going to turn it and this is this doesn't have to be exact I'm just going to cut three strips out to use they don't have to be perfect because once you put stickers on, you're, you're not going to know how thick they are. But they'll probably get it pretty close to, to even there. So then what you're going to do is you are going to use your hole punch. And you're going to line it up in there until it can't go anymore. That seems about right. This is a tester because I've never used this before, but you want it to be, it has guidelines. In here, if you can see them, it has one guideline over here and one over here to guide where the paper needs to be even. So I'm just gonna stick it in, make sure it's even, and then push down. And there, it worked perfectly. So you can you can almost put anything in a happy planner, just as long as you have a hole punch. You can put weekly church service sermons, you can put in Bible notes, you can put in anything that you want. It does say this only takes one cardstock sheet at a time or three regular pieces of paper at a time. So then I have these all made up and then I'm just gonna use, which I totally forgot. There we go. What I do is I'm just gonna show you it's the exact same thing. You're just gonna run, you're just gonna run double sided tape across like that and my double-sided tape is out <laughs> as you can see from there but this is just an example I'll get more later but that's all you do you take your double-sided tape and then again you stick another sticker sheet on one side and stick it on the other and it's like the exact same thing they gave you in the book pretty much it's cardstock with sticky stuff and it's a quick and easy way to add more in there as I said I don't know if they sell um, these sticky sheets separate. That's why I'm glad I figured out how to make my own. So it's quick and easy and simple. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any fun videos. And my Instagram is in the description below as well as where I got all the supplies for today. I won't be able to share uh, some of the stamps because I got them at AC more before they closed. But I will share the sticker book as well as I'll try to link the Faith Happy Planner sticker book and some of the others and the whole puncher that I used. But thank you for watching. I hope this helped you guys a lot to figure out if you want this or not. I'm, I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to use it. I want to show you how my book looked closed. As you can see, I literally only used, I used like two stamp sets, sticky notes, and stickers, and it's not even that thick yet, which I'm surprised about because I thought the stamps were going to make it really bulky, and it didn't. There's a ton more room in here. I could probably put like that much and be happy. So thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned to the next video. God bless and love you all. Bye.